What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Frill Shocker, the 96 Hedgehog, here with our week four team builder of WWC. We are roughly halfway through the season. Your Iowa Gelatians are sitting at 3 0 with a plus nine differential. We are actually, as of right now, the team to beat in the league. We are currently undefeated, and it actually feels pretty cool. I actually was not expecting to win last week versus Neely. I'm going to be completely honest. It was, Neely was one of my matchups I actually got to see ahead of time. And then I saw his team. I just did not want to face Neely. I did not have a great matchup versus Neely. Um, him not bringing certain bonds and the, him changing up that team, I think honestly saved me from losing that match, if I'm going to be completely honest. So, yeah. But now we're getting to another opponent that I said I didn't want to face this week. But I have to. It is Sandy Sims, coach of the real... Residence. Haha, <laughs> take that, Zach. I can get the name right. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, we're going at Sandy. I've never faced Sandy. He is actually technically the last season of Alpha's champion. And I think he went on a massive tear with the mascot pick with G Max Lapras and then Sand. Which, respect to a Sand homie right there. But this time, we're facing him in a, a very scary matchup. But first of all, if you guys can hit the like button, if you haven't already subscribed to join the Footstalker crew today, because you can really win the King of the Crew. So, looking at this matchup, Sandy has two things. He's got three things in a way. He's got setup opportunities with stuff like Necrozma, Necrozma, Vol, Nine Tails with Aurora Veil support. But not only Aurora Veil, he's got Hail, and he actually has two Slush Rush users in Slash and Archisol. He's, he was the man that said he was going to go for it, and I think he picked this thing round three or round four. So that tells you how much he really wanted Arctosol. But another thing that this team gives him, it's web. So there's, like, no real way to prep for this team. So I had to really dig down deep into my thought processing, and I actually did want to try to win this matchup, and I was looking at my matchup on paper versus his team. My team does not match up well versus Andy's, I'm going to lie. So, but I think I built the team with perfect versus him. So let's break down his team first. I honestly do not expect Hale to come first with me, if I'm being honest with you. And here's why. Hale just loses to something like I have on my team right there, Darmanta. It forces a Scarf. It forces him to sack something to bring in Slash for free to click Earthquake and knock me out. So he either gives me a Mon or two for free. I can keep Darm in the back and just keep wasting those Hale turns. And then in the end, I can just pick up and pick him off slowly one by one until he can't get his Hale back. So I don't really see that as a thing for him. I don't foresee Webs coming versus me, and here's the reason why I don't see Webs. You look at my team, yes, Webs is not that much of something that's good. Like, it's not my Choice Scarfers, but that's about it. I have, like, only two insane, three insanely fast Mons. But nonetheless, I don't see much else from that. So, I don't expect Webs. Um, Volcarona and Necrozma, these two definitely could have the verge to come. Um, but I was, if I can go on be specifically, um, Cursal I don't think comes, it's just way too frail for my team, and I think, same thing with Slurpuff with the webs, and plus I just don't really think Slurpuff match matchup in all honesty, it's really that great versus mine. Slash, like I said, along with the hail, but if he was to bring any type of hail abusers, it would be Slash, because Slash is his best abuser in defense my team, personally. A uh, Volcarona, I think, could easily come for setup potential with heavy-duty boots, but again, I don't really kind of see it, because I have really good mons, I can just check that thing completely. Necrozma is easily one of his mons he could easily bring this matchup. So, definitely something he can easily bring. But there's going to be a theme in the Sandy's team that I think he's going to bring versus mine that you're going to see here. But Necrozma can definitely be swapped out for something on his team that can be based on. So, look at his team. You may not see it, but he has Ashgren. I know he's bringing Ashgren. Ashgren just offensively hurts my team so much. I have no really good switches to, to Surfetch. Sur sur it's also been a while since I've used that man's. But I know, basically, this team can run Axe HP, Max Attack every single week and be able to take it. Tangro comes, it's probably mixed defensive, but probably a little more physical defensive for my team, and may or may not run the Rocky Helmet, who knows. Gudra has to come, if Gudra does not come, he loses his check to my Mega Venusaur, because Mega Venusaur actually is very, very frightening versus his team, even though, yes, he does have Hail plus Necrozma, but Venusaur with its fake ability and how defensive it can be, can be a massive problem versus him. Ninetales, I think, comes for Veil support slash kind of offensive capabilities, and I think x Cloud comes because x Cloud, I really have a hard time switching into Boomburst on this team. And stuff like that. One thing to know from Sandy's team here. He does not have a ground type, which is very, very good to know. 
And also, his team is pretty much fighting weak. But since I don't have a fighting type, I don't expect him to bring the Necrozma unless he's really worried about Venusaur. If I'll honestly, he may not bring it because I think he's got good enough stuff to counter Venusaur. So let's break the team down here. We're not going to talk too much about some of these sets because some of these sets are kind of generic, same old, same old stuff. But I want to go into some of the key stuff. First off, we got Mr. Nuke Button him himself right here. Number 5 on the kill leaderboards as of right now. With U-Turn, Flare Blitz, Toxic, and Body Slam. Very weird set, I know, but hear me out. 116 HP, max attack adamant, 36 defense, with speed ups, and then 104 speed. The speed guarantees that I am faster than Greninja, unless Greninja reveals to be choice scarf. And this is max speed Greninja. I did not take the gamble like I should have against Nele last time with my scarf kiss. So I'm taking, I'm learning from my lesson this time, and running max, running max speed on the Greninja to outspeed the Greninja. So I'm making sure I do that. And the rest went to bulk just because... And then U-Turn plus Flare Blitz, there's no switch into Flare Blitz really on his team at all. There's really not. I have Body Slam on there because if I can get some Clutch Paras, that would actually be really, really good. But with, Actually, no. Body Slam gets boosted by Sheer Force with the chance to Clutch Para. So I like having Normal Spam. Normal Spam is pretty good in this matchup as well. If I can get that play going right over there. But Flare Blitz, I'm pretty much clicking all the time. Toxic, I'm clicking and potentially on the switch of Tangrel Flesh. Um, Gudra, so there's that. Making his debut, and I'm actually shocked that he's going to make his debut. But just because his matchup is so really good, it's the Clamps. Now, you look at Sandy's team, he's got no real way to remove hazards on his side of the field unless he wants to get rid of some of his own hazards in that type of situation. So, I'm going to force him to have to battle on rocks unless he's going to force Defog onto his surface, which is a really good prep if I can force him to run that on his mod instead of running a mod that can really defend him. We're running X's and Rock Slide, Aerial Ace, and Stealth Rocks. Aerial Ace is there for a good chance to try to chip down the Surf Fetch, which is really, really good. But my main stab of Rock Slide plus x plows through Sandy's team very offensively. Um, I kind of want to change x I mean, Aerial Ace for Toxic, cause, or Knock Off, just have like, extra like options and stuff. But I feel like it's going to save. I'll, I'll double check it before I go into the match. But 236 HP, 56 attack, 216 speed after. Really spadev bulky this week. And with this, I want him to force him to think, okay, I've got Rapid Spin. He can't set up anything. Up next, bringing the top 10 ranked mining top 10 in Kill Leaders is my Luxray Sean here with Fire Fang Fire Facade Wild Charge Playoff. Basically, Luxray's design is to try to break this very offensively. 196 in HP, 60 defense. I'm bringing kind of a bulky offensive Luxray this week. I did not bother to run speed on this thing. You're going to wonder if run speed. Well, if that X squad is going to be Choice Scarf, which I assume it's going to be, why run speed for it? I may run it for the Gudra, which I'll double check for that. But other than that, this thing's basically going to be designed to be taking hits and dishing out. I am going to risk it and run Wild Charge, because I really want to hit real hard against this entire team with my guts boosted attacks. So there's where that is. And plus, this does force Sam to not run a Clicks Toxic versus my team. If burn, I can go and switch it on Toxic and get 3 damage off nonetheless. I'm next to run Los Cientos Artogicus this week. We're running Air Slash Roost, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunder Wave. 116 HP, 96 defense, 40 speed up, 4 in speed, max special attack, modest defensive, but also defensive at the same time. Thunder Wave is really good to slow down his team down really, really well. Air Slash was dazzling lane, pretty much hits the entirety of his team for super effective and neutral damage, except for the Sand Slash. And we're running the 4 in speed, out speed, 0 speed, invested Guja, which is very, very important to run that speed so we can be able to stop Guja from doing much. This is my main switch to 2 Guja all the time, and basically I can get 3 Thunder Waves off against anything I know, which is very, very good. Up next, we're in Groot, our Mega Venusaur. He's actually got a really strong matchup. We're in specially defensive Venusaur, though, with the poor defense. He in special attack, 172 speed death. Sludge Bomb, knock knockoff, really there, just remove items. Sludge Bomb is really, really good stab versus the entire team. Steam Giga Drain is also really good versus the entire team as well. And then Sleep Powder. Now, I know I am not clicking a grass move until I see that freaking Gudra come in. Once Gudra comes in, I'm clicking knockoff, and then I'm just hitting with Sludge Bombs. There's nothing Gudra can really do. I am torn and not run Synthesis on this set. I might change that. But I like Knock Off. And actually, I could change Knock Off, knock off onto Clamps and then that and put Synthesis on this set. So that makes it better. And up next, this was a tough choice. I had to choose between Haxorus and Lycanroc. Options, I liked Lycanroc the most this matchup. We're running Sword Sands, SL Rock, Fire Fang, Play Rub, and uh, Max Attack, Adamant, and then 16 Defense, 36 Speed Up, 108 Speed. The speed looks to be guaranteed to be faster than I don't know. I think it was Necrozma. But yeah. This is going to be the team, guys. Hopefully we can pull up a win. Hopefully we can go 4-0. But if not, we had a good run as the undefeated.
But that's it for me, guys. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next time.